All right. Right now we are changing the um, crank wheel <laughs> over from to a three piece or a three piece crank set from a single crank set, which is standard for a beach cruiser bike. The problem with this is I cannot use the pedal assist that comes with the motor because there is no way to put this pedal assist onto this here crank wheel. So basically the option is based to change out a one piece to a three piece, which is what we're doing now. I need this pedal assist to work. I need to put this on so that I can get more mileage out of my battery. And uh, the only way you can do that is if you're pedaling more to assist the motor. So that's what we're doing right now. We're changing the crank set over. I uh, tested it out because I had to take the original of the first one that I bought back, not realizing that <laughs> it would have worked. I thought it wasn't going to work, but it would have worked if I knocked out these um, bracket pieces that are right here. <laughs> so that I didn't realize, but nevertheless, these are extra. I don't know. I don't need them because uh, they were already there from the original set. So I'm going to use the original set. Put this new one in and get going with that. So I was having some issues with the way this set. It was uh, pointing this way, right? And the thing is, is this ridge right here was having a hard time placing inside of the... Um, <laughs> it was having a hard time fitting in there. So I took it apart, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it instead of it going in with the ridge pointing out, I'm gonna flip it around so I can tuck in and see how that works out. So stay tuned, we'll see. Okay, so here is the finished product with the new crank wheel set. Just had to get a little light on it. But here's the final product. So did it work out? I can't say that it did because Let's see if I can get a good shot of this. There it is. So here is the cord for the sensor right here, this black one here. The sensor itself, the uh, ring that I was playing with earlier, did not go on there. I couldn't get it on there. I'm going to go to the other side here. Okay, so here is the sensor right here. And it is not on the ring. I actually have it zip tied to the frame because the ring still wouldn't fit. So the ring 
is not made for um, this this housing here. Uh, it, it it is it's not made for it. It's made for something more like uh, this here, like this mountain bike. This uh, this here bottom bracket is a lot smaller, and the the conversion kit that I have for this bike will totally work because the bottom bracket is not as large as the bracket here. So that's the problem. Um, I wasn't able to do it. I tried putting this, like I said, taking the uh, sensor off of the ring and seeing if it will still pass the, uh, there it is, the, actually this is like the gauge right here. It, the sensor, as the, as the crank turns, this turns, and each time a magnet connects with this sensor, letting send in a signal signal to the controller saying, "Hey, give it some power. We're we're pedaling." And uh, I don't think it's reading, to be honest with you. I think that I set it up as good as I could, as best as I could to to pass that sensor, but I don't think it's doing so. Um, and there was no other way to put on that sensor, as I said, because this bottom bracket is just too large for it. So, the moral of the story is, as I said before, and I will continue to say, not every conversion kit is made for every bike. Um, and this you have, I found out the hard way. And I am putting this out for you all so you know that no matter what they say, no matter how many videos you watch about people doing conversions, you cannot convert any bike with any conversion kit. The kits that I bought are clearly for mountain bikes, and I've made the best out of just using the throttle, but when it comes to pedal assist for my cruiser, it's a no-go. So, lesson learned. But I do look forward to building this new bike, the mountain bike, with the proper kit, hopefully, and giving you all the insight on how that goes. As I said, we are learning together. There's, <laughs> there's no one knows anything. We are learning together because there's virtually no great information out there on how all this works. So that's why you come to the Cruiser Racer channel because we're going to give you the goods. We're going to give you the news and we're going to give you all the information that we've learned so that you can learn from our mistakes. So that's that. That ends the Builder's Corner for this week. Success. I say it's a success because it was a try, right? Um, but never defeat it because there's always ways to figure this out. I have a builder's brain. <laughs> I am a MacGyver at heart. I will figure this out and I will get it to work. And if not, like I said, lesson learned. <laughs> If you'd like to be part of our purpose, mission, and our journey, please consider becoming part of the Electron Rebels Bike Club. You can find links to the club in the description below. Ride easy.